Hi guys, it's Winifred, and today I am here to do my empties and more. Now, let me explain about what the and more is about. Um, I have decided that a lot of items that I have in my cabinets that um, I'm not using but are pretty good, I'm just going to gift them to friends, family, or if they are, you know, pretty good items, I may even gift them to you all if they're items that I haven't used before. Um, because it's just like too much. You it, Do you ever get to a point where you look at your, your drawers or your cabinets and your bathroom and you're like, Really? I have all this stuff, a lot of which I have never opened, and if I be truthful about it, I'm not going to open. Um, I have some stuff that I might have used like once or twice, and I wasn't too crazy about it. No matter how hard I try, I'm just not crazy about it, so I'm not going to use it. Those kind of items I'm going to um, gift. So... What I'm, what I'm going to do before I get into my empties, I'm going to get into the items that I am going to gift. And some of them are items that I've never even used. Like, for instance, I bought this as, as I Am, and it's a hydration elation. I got it from Sally's, and I never even used it. Um, never used it. Um, it smells good, too. But the thing is, is I have no hair now. I cut all my hair off. I bought all of this stuff when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with my hair, if I was going to continue to let it grow or, you know, whatever. And then I decided to cut it all off. So, needless to say, I don't need all these hair products. I already gave uh, one of my cousins like two boxes of hair dye when I was trying to figure out what color I was going to dye my hair. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and I'm going to do the same with this. So this one is called As I Am Hydration Elation. Then here's another item that I don't think I've ever used. Nope. It's called um, Curls Unleashed. Organic uh, Root Stimulator Moisturizing Conditioner. It's like practically full. Um, and then I bought this Dark and Lovely All Natural Anti Shrinkage Curl Defining Cream Glaze. I just figure when I decide to let my hair grow back, I will go on ahead and repurchase these items if I'm going to use them. Then um, this is uh, Dark and Lovely All Natural Anti-Shrinkage, and this was actually a new item, Sheen Sealing Nectar. Um, I purchased that. Then also from that line, I got All Natural Anti-Shrinkage 10-in-1 Styles gel -A. And again, this is from Dark and Lovely. I think this was a line that they put out a year or two ago. And then also I got this Curls Unleashed Leave-In Conditioner. I bought that. Then I bought um, Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curling Souffle. And this is practically all full. So, I mean, these are items that I do not need to have in my um, cabinet any longer. So, I have decided that, yeah, I am going to gift these. Um, like I said, um, a lot of it will go to friends and family. Or... Um, I look through it and there's a couple of items that I have not opened up they may be going to a giveaway now I have three bottles of cologne that I tried to really really get into but I'm funny with cologne and for me it's like 
I need to get testers and test them on my body for a while to see how you know they work with me and I bought Prada and this is like a full ginormous bottle of it okay I bought this I wanted to like it I smelled it on somebody and it smelled good okay on them and for some reason though I'm just for me I tried I used it a couple of times I tried to but it's not a cologne that I am loving and reaching for so um, I'm giving this to a friend of mine Pauline uh, I talked to her so this is going to her then I bought Lady Gaga Honest to God, I was trying to like it, but I think I bought it more or less for the potion that's inside. It's black, but it sprays out clear. I liked how it smelled, but it's not really a me scent. I mean, it's not that it smells bad or anything. It's just not something that um, I'm reaching for time and time again. And with my colognes, again, it's something I have to want to wear it and this is another one that I just do not want to wear and so why would I keep it trying to figure out okay well maybe one day I might like it no that's not gonna happen then I got on some kick and bought Tokyo Dark um, this one is is Tokyo Milk and um, this one is called Arsenic I bought this from um, Sephora's and I thought that you know they sound pretty nice from the descriptions and then when I got them home it's just like I don't know I I don't like it <laughs> this I can, I can honestly say I don't like it I bought two of them and the other one was supposed to be it's like a grassy scent and I already gave that away to uh, my friend Donna but I don't like this one either guys I'm sorry I just I don't like this Tokyo milk line I don't know if it's just the two that I bought um, have any of you ever tried Tokyo milk I was just curious and see this is what I get I was curious I was sitting home and I'm going through the Sephora well and I'm like okay let me try this it sounds cool the name sounds cool the ingredients sound cool. This is like, okay, it says vanilla, absinthe, vanilla salt, um, cut grass, and crushed fennel. So I'm like, hmm, that sounds interesting. <sighs> I, I can't do it. I can't do it. So I'm going to give that away. Okay, so that's it's so far for my giveaways and that's quite a lot now let's get to my empties I have been going through my um, candles guys like a mad one uh, Dow you all know I buy this all the time I buy two or three of these at a time these go in all of my soap decanters in the bathroom love 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 Especially this time of year when, um, guys, when it's like everybody has a flu or sick or sniveling or something. Mm, I don't want that. Finally used up this lotion, Cotton Blossom. I got it from Bath and Body Works. Won't repurchase this, guys. I mean, it smells okay, but again, this... It's not a scent that I would constantly reach for. I originally bought it for the summer, but you know, I was just like, let me use this up. I don't really care for it. Now, here's a scent that guys I love and have been wearing this for years, and it's called Kalex by Prescriptives. 
If you like citrus green scents, you will love, 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 love this. And I bought the ginormous bottle. I think this is the biggest bottle that they sell. You can't get this in the um, department stores anymore, so I had to order this online. Again, this is Kalex by Prescriptive. Done with this. Love it. Won't repurchase colognes anytime soon. I will get this down the line, but you know I'm going to no buy for colognes because I want to use up quite a bit. Um, I finished my uh, Jason's Vitamin E Oil. Love this. Will repurchase this once I finish using the uh, other oils that I have. I will repurchase this. Love this. Um, I bought like three or four of these guys done with this. This is called UB. Got it from Sephora. This is a lip therapy lip balm. Don't need to repurchase this. It's nothing special. Um, always looking for a foot product, guys. Always looking for a foot product to soften and to moisten. And I'm sorry you hear the landscapers in the background. <laughs> they're not mine, but they're my neighbor's landscapers. Um, it's called Hilltastic. And, you know, this is not, to me, anything special that I cannot use my Aquaphor for or uh, Vaseline or something like that. So, you know, I won't repurchase that. I did mention I was a product junkie, didn't I? <laughs> I am. It's sad. Okay, Nafcon A allergy drops for what well, for allergy um, eye drops for allergy sufferers. Get it out, Winnie. Get it out. Um, yeah, I will repurchase this. I love, love, love it. It usually comes in a smaller bottle, but at times you can get a bonus size, um, and that's when I stock up. And I love this stuff because I am allergic to, well, I have really sensitive eyes. I have everything. a little tester of Mary Kay eye makeup remover and I finally finished it, guys. Finished, finished, finished. Um, I like this, but I have other eye makeup removers that I can use. So I won't repurchase that anytime soon. Then... I was curious and I bought this lash food system um, it's kind of like a like a Latisse type of thing and you you can get it at Sephora's or on their website I believe but I got it at Sephora's online and um, yeah no I don't have to buy this anymore it came with uh, eye makeup remover the eyelash serum which is this mascara and a eyeliner a liquid eyeliner which I'm not thrilled with so I don't need to repurchase this again this is lash food done with that glad 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 again here is uh, the sugar advanced therapy uh, lip treatment guys no. I mean, it's like I spend all this money sometimes on these lip balms and they're no better to me than Blistex. And like I said, Aquaphor is all over beauty ointment cream, whatever you want to call it. So you could use that on your lips. So I won't repurchase this. Although it smells nice, but you know, that's about it. So then guys, I went crazy. You remember I bought all of those candles? Yeah. Well, I bought eight candles and I am already done with four of them. And I'll tell you which ones I really, really want to buy again. And But before I get to that, this, I'm done with this. And I'm going to start talking about when I use up my um, eyebrow pencils. But this 
I use this on a daily basis. I've already repurchased a couple of them. I usually buy two at a time, but this is uh, Urban Decay's 24-7 um, pencil in zero. So yeah, I use this on a daily basis. I don't use it as much to film because um, I like the way uh, smolder or feline or perversion show up better on the camera. Um, yeah, so I use this on a daily basis. Never will we be, never will I be without this. Okay, so home stretch, guys. Four items left. Um, first one that I used up is this marshmallow fireside. Love this. I will definitely repurchase this one. Don't know if I'll do it this year or this season because I still have some candles to go through, but then too I might because I go through them at record-breaking record time, you know. This smells really good. Love it. Um, sandalwood Citrus. I... Was it this one that I really liked? Yes. Sandalwood Citrus, love it. Yeah, I burnt the heck out of it. So yeah, I do. I do love this one. I will repurchase this one. I love this one. Um, and then leaves. I like this one too. Um, I didn't like it as much as I thought that I would. If it came between these two, I would get the Sandalwood Citrus. Um, even though I like the leaves. Uh, you know. Oh, and then this one. Fresh Balsam. Love this one, too. Love this one, too. But I would say... Sandalwood Citrus first. Then I like this uh, Marshmallow Fireside. And um, then these two. So, yeah, guys. That's it. Um... Yeah, I don't know what it is. I'm really into this thing now, guys, where I am wanting to um, get rid of a lot of items that I'm not using. If I'm not using it, I don't need to be looking at it every day or moving it to get to the items that I really want to use. So um, my attitude now is less is more. I'd rather have more of the items that I really, really love than a lot of the items that I do not. So I'll be getting rid of colognes. I'll be using the colognes that I have on my dresser. And I look at some women, honestly, and they'll have like three or four bottles of cologne. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't think I've ever in my life just had three or four bottles of cologne because that's that's my thing <laughs> it's my thing um, and I'm not by no stretch of the imagination saying that I won't buy anymore what I'm saying is right now I'm at a point where I have a lot of them and I don't need to buy anymore and I have quite a few that I can gift because I'm not going to wear them no matter how I can sit here and look at them and say okay I'm gonna you know, let me wear them or use them because um, I bought them and I've spent money on them. But really, I mean, I want to wear a scent because it's so personal. I want to wear a scent that I'm really enjoying wearing. So I know people who love these items and I'm going to gift it to them because they would truly wear them on a daily basis and love it. Um, and it's not just... It's not just with my crazy beauty items. It's not just with the hair products and the colognes and the makeups. It's like, this is stretched even to my kitchen, guys. It's like, I can open up my my um, cabinets and I see like a whole bunch of different teas. And it's like, really? Let's just start using this stuff and getting rid of it instead of buying more stuff and or buying soda that is really not good for you <laughs> why don't I just use some of these teas up so I'm it's it's kind of stretching 
all over the house as far as these items and trying to cleanse out the cabinets, the refrigerator, and um, I don't know. I, I this is a, a new kick for me, especially going into the new year. But I'm starting it early. I I, I don't want to, you know, like years ago I said I, I always said, you know, I don't want to waste money. I'm going to write down everything that I spend on, you know, spend money on. I'm going to write it down. And clearly, I failed miserably. <laughs> because I can go in my kitchen. How many boxes of rice do I need? It's like, really, stop it. So, last night, and I'm going to share this recipe with you all. Especially when I go in my kitchen. Because I'm, you know, I, I when I show you all my kitchen. Because I think I want to, you know, even get into the cooking a little bit. I was online, and I found this delicious recipe for cookies with no butter and six minutes prep time ten minutes in the oven it was done absolutely delicious and the thing was okay and I'm not just going on a tangent I have a point to this trust me I have these caramels that I bought for um, following and we were gonna do caramel apples well, we didn't. So I still had these caramels left over. And instead of wasting them, because it's not a candy that I just sit there and pop in my mouth like Skittles, I'm like, let me use them for something. So this recipe is chocolate cookie, and you put a caramel in the center of it, and it melts. Oh, y'all, it's so good. And at first I was like, a cookie? using no butter really Ugh. but it was so good and I went on a tangent didn't I I often do that <laughs> but I was going on a tangent with a good purpose in mind for me to stop being as wasteful and it just stretched to the kitchen as well so yeah that's it for me today guys and uh, yeah I'll talk to you real soon. I hope you enjoyed this. Tell me what habits you all are trying to break. Are you trying to spend less money? Are you trying to buy less makeup, cologne? Whatever. Let me know. Comment below. Okay, guys? Have a good day. Thanks for watching.